Hello everybody, this is Drake back for another mod showcase for Jurassic World Evolution 2. And before we get started, we got some couple of big announcements to go through first. So first off, yes, it is finally happening. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke, but I am going to finally put these mods on the Nexus for all of you lovely people to try out. So yes, look forward for that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually in the process of doing it. I'll even send you the screenshot as proof that I'm doing it. Because <laughs> I doubt anyone believes me when I say I'm doing it. And the fact is April the 1st. Two, I've actually started a brand new channel, which is, well, it's basically a shorts channel. Like, kind of like a TikTok account, but on you. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put on there. I'm just going to put like a couple of short clips on there from various games and that. Primal Carnage, Dinosaur King, this game. You know, just random stuff. Showcase videos will be on there as well, so make sure to check that out. And yes, well, without further ado, let's get on with this showcase of our first thing we're gonna showcase, just a quick little Easter egg here. <laughs> we got a Godzilla in the water, because, you know, that's where he belongs, in the water. Now, apparently, this Godzilla has no eyes, which is by kind of creepy. Maybe because they're shut. But yes, we got a Godzilla in the water, ladies and gentlemen. There's also a land Godzilla, though. That one, however, is, well, a true Godzilla. Let's just leave it at that. We got a new and improved battle arena as well. We got some mountains, got a bit of water. We got the lagoon for raptor yeatage. And we got the um, amphitheater, which is Stranger's special Colosseum arena thing. Right, let's get on with the actual showcase, which will be Megalosaurus. Because I teased it, and here it is. So let's release the puppy first. Yes, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. We have our Megalosaurus. Uh, the tongue is kind of bent, but tongues bend that way sometimes. He's got a long tongue. And for some reason, its head, like, it, its head dips as his tail. It kind of looks sad. But yes, this is our Megalosaurus. Thankfully, I didn't have to use, well, I don't know. I would have rather used the Allosaurus model. Although then it would have been a little bit too big. This one actually suit is really nice. I actually really like the Megalosaurus model in general, and I think it's going to be a very useful model going forward when I'm making smaller carnivores, well, wind dinosaurs in particular. Well, it wouldn't be a showcase if we didn't see what it can do, can can we? So we'll just chuck in another five real quick, and we will see how it fares against various different dinosaurs. Now, these dinosaurs, some of them didn't feature in the big battle video because we don't have new species yet and replacements, blah, blah, blah. So I decided to feature them in this video and then we got some return guys like Pentaceratops. Okay, so let's give it a little warming up first. Re we'll release eight Pachycephalosaurus and lo and behold, I get the right texture this time. Yes, in regards to Pachycephalosaurus, I am going to make the dome glow. Dome bit is going to glow when I get around to doing that because you can make your dinosaurs glow with the uh, Lux effect, which is going to be awesome to do. Can't wait to do that. So yes, eight Pachycephalosauruses. I don't think they can actually fight back against Megalosaurus, but we're going to find out, aren't we? Okay, we'll start with Iguanodon first. So one Iguanodon. Yes, this was kind of a surprise cameo during the uh, battle video because I never actually got around to posting its showcase, which I will do on the Shorts channel. This is our Iguanodon. Can it take on Megalosaurus? I suspect it can. I mean, it's a lot bigger than Megalosaurus, so it should win. Here we go, secret dinosaur on secret dinosaur. And yes, it's safe to say the Pachycephalosauruses cannot fight back against Megalosaurus. Yum! Yep, no, no chance on planet Earth for Pachycephalosaurus. As it is hunted down by Megalosaurus. Which is an absolute shame, because... I really want Pachycephalosaurus to fight back against the larger guys. I think... The one from Dinosaur King might actually be the biggest iteration of Pachycephalosaurus of all time. Like, I'm not joking. It's like, you see it in the anime. It's like bigger than Ace. Like, it's bigger than a freaking Carnotaur. One day, I will put this guy on a different rig of, like, a Metric Amphosaurus or something. Just so it can fight. Just when you think it's quiet, all the fights seem to happen at once. So we got Megalosaurus going up against the Iguana. Look at the Iguana on. Jabbing it with his thumbs. The prehistoric boxer itself, the Iguanodon. Megalosaurus gonna bite off though, which one will win? Jab! I love Iguanodon. Oh, I love Iguanodon, it's so cool. 36% playing 72%, so yes, Megalosaurus definitely on top there. So I'm safe to assume that Megalosaurus can in fact 
killer iguanodons quite easily. And I would love to put all the grass dinosaurs on the iguanodon brig because it'd be awesome. Right, let's give Megalosaurus a bit more of a challenge. Let's chuck a Pentaceratops into the ring. Bum, 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 bum. Oh look, we got a bit of a Lux effect on it. <laughs> let's see how Pentaceratops fears against it. Now, Pentaceratops is one of the ceratopsid dinosaurs that can fight back against large carnivores. Oh, wait, wait, is the animation broke? I was interested. I just looked at it and killed it. Using the force there, Megalosaurus, using the force. <laughs> he, like, he, he, he gave it a psychic bind and killed it. <laughs> We all knew Megalosaurus was violent, but we didn't think it would be this violent. Yum! Yum, yum! He's a violent dinosaur. I was daydreaming. I, I just saw, like, this bag blow across the field out my window, and um, I was kind of daydreaming, so I didn't see this fight, and it looks like Megalosaurus definitely won. So, yes, I'm going to say Pentaceratops does not fare well against Megalosaurus. So maybe what we need is a carnivore to go up against a Megalosaurus. So let's chuck in a dinosaur that didn't feature in the uh, Battle Royale, the Gorgosaurus. Let's see how it fares against this puppy. Gorgosaurus on the Albertosaurus rig, of course. Now it should... Actually, actually now that I think about it, it should win. Here we go. Megalosaurus going up against Gorgosaurus here. Yeah, I'm gonna say Gorgosaurus is going to win. I mean, Megalosaurus is decent. It's not as it's not as strong as it probably would have been in Evolution One because in Evolution One I, I used the Allosaurus rig and I chose the stats. Yeah, it looks like Megalosaurus is not faring too well here, and is and is dying as well. So I'm gonna say Gorgosaurus too strong for Megalosaurus there. Oh, oh, looks like the Pentaceratops is about to die, and down it goes. Yeeted by the Megalosaurus because it likes to eat things. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll chuck in more Megalosauruses. And these ones are slightly stronger, so they should fare better against larger carnivores. Oh no! The Pachys another Pachycephalosaurus dead in the arena. Bet the crowd like that, didn't they? Get your money worth. I tell you what, we'll, we'll release a Carnotaurus because it did fight Ace in the anime. We'll see how many megs it takes to bring this Carnotaurus down if it ever decides to come out. Oh, this is what we want to see. Megalosaurus going up against Carnotaurus and wow, Mega <laughs> it's so tiny next to the Carnotaurus and you just see Godzilla in the background munching on another shark. Wow, it is so tiny. Like, come on. like You saw Pachycephalosaurus in the anime. It's freaking bigger than this dude. Mental. Although, this Megalosaurus is holding his own so far. Okay, maybe not. Um, no, no, it's not holding its own. It's probably going to die in a minute. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we got... Oh, 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 that was kind of anticlimactic, but we got the Megalosaurus killing the Gorgosaurus in the Colosseum. A bit of an anticlimactic fight because the Gorgosaurus died instantly, but oh well. Oh, oh, we got a fight. Oh, look at that Megalosaurus taking on the Carnot. I, I, I still can't get over how big Carnotaurus is compared to Megalosaurus. It's, it's been a while since I've actually looked at the actual sizes of these dinosaurs. So, yeah. <laughs> this might actually be accurate. Just saying. Oh, wow, Carnotaurus looks huge, doesn't it? It looks huge. Well, it's doing well. It's getting some hits off on the Megalosaurus. But I think the Megalosaurus did, in fact, win the fight. So 30, 40, 70. Yeah, so they're slowly whittling the Carno's HP down. I'm going to risk it. Let's see how Megalosaurus fares against this. Yes, the wrong, the wrong pattern, Torvosaurus, because the orange is supposed to be a little bit brighter. But oh well, we have our Torvosaurus, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you noticed that I put a poll up 
before the uh, big battle video and which dinosaur you wanted to see and it was between this guy and Yang Chungasaurus and Yang Chungasaurus won by a country mile. But here's Torvasaurus in all of its fiery, ferocious glory and... Oh, hang on, are you picking a fight already? Look at it! Scaring off the Megalosaurus, eh? Is he picking a fight already? Yes, I'm very happy with how this guy turned out, except for the fingers. The fingers are a very... well, oh, look at that, that was completely broken. I... Yes, I, I may have broke the fingers on this dude. Which kind of suck, but, you know. Never mind, that is Torvasaurus, ladies and gentlemen. Skitty scratch! Is this the end for Carnotaurus? I think it is! Oh, oh, yes it is. Megalosaurus can apparently just look at dinosaurs and it dies. Now, Megalosaurus' psychic powers are insane. Ooh, here we go. Megalosaurus going up against Torvasaurus. Now, this is a bit more paleo accurate because I do know Torvasaurus. Oh my god, that finger is so bad. Torvasaurus is a lot bigger than the Megalosaurus. I think it's actually bigger than Allosaurus as well. Well, I believe Tene Torvasaurus Teneri, which is the Dinosaur King one, is bigger than Allosaurus. And I think there's another genus of Torvasaurus which might slightly be smaller. Oh, oh, they've stopped. 80, 50, oh yeah, yeah. No surprise this Torvasaurus won because it's quite powerful. With you we see a Megalosaurus about to pop its clogs. Ready, dying, dying, dying. Starved to death, apparently. <laughs> oh, nothing. But he's hungry. He wants a, he wants a meal. Can the, will the Torvasaurus yield? Or will the Megalosaurus, or will the Megalosaurus die? Torvasaurus stands tall. It's way too good for Megalosaurus. Look at that. Is it dying? Yeah, it's dying. The Magma Blaster leaving burns and scars on the Megalosaurus and is going to result in its eventual death. Tell you what, we'll make things even more interesting. We're going to chuck in Eocarcaria. Oh no! Eocarcaria laying a beat down on another Megalosaurus. Oh, I'm going to have to resupply them, aren't I? I've decided to chuck in another batch of five Megalosauruses, but these Megalosauruses are a lot more powerful. They have a lot of dominance, and hang on a minute. Let's see Eocarcaria. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, what a shot that is! That's awesome! Okay, I might keep that shot. <laughs> wow. Eocarcaria, quick as a wink, dispatched another Megalosaurus. It's killed, like, four of them. Back to what I was saying. These Megalosauruses are a lot stronger. They have the strong, all have the strong and defensive trait, which is awesome, which will increase their dominance and their overall stats. So hopefully, these guys will fare a lot better. Look at them all. One, two, three, four. Look at them, they're all going to pack hunt the Torvasaurus. Look at them all. They're, all, they're all teaming up on the Torvasaurus. Five of the buggers. Oh, the sixth one has joined in. Look at them all. <laughs> they look like they're all... Like harassing the gold, the Torvasaurus at one. Megalosaurus 010 is the alpha one, taking a crack at the Torvasaurus in the Colosseum. All his brothers and sisters in the background watching. Can he do it? Can he take this Torvo down? Wow, that was an awesome shot. You just see all the Megalosaurus is coming in, taking on the Torvasaurus, and have they killed it? Well, it has an ailment, but it's not a fatal one. Let's have a look. Ooh, but they have nerfed it, so I think it's concussion or something. Here we go, Eoka. Oh, look at that Megalosaurus getting the first hit this time. It will not be a one-hit kill for Eocarcaria. The other Megalosaurus is watching by in the distance. Is this one the same? Is this, this, is this the one that took on the Torvasaurus? It might be. Wow, Eocarcaria not looking good at all. Okay, this Megalosaurus might be our MVP here. Yum! Did he, fin did he kill it? Okay, no, he didn't kill it, but he did fare well against it. Why can't I hover over this? Okay, it's Megalosaurus 15, not, not Megalosaurus 10. These much stronger Megalosauruses are holding their own against these large carnivores, which is good to see, good to see. Ooh, ooh, is this Eocarcaria done? Yeah, that is it. Eocarcaria dead in one hit. Megalosaurus taking down the big boy. 
Perhaps if the Megalosauruses do work together, they can take down large carnivores like Eocarcaria. We need a new large carnivore now. Let's chuck a Giga into the ring, shall we? And see how Megalosaurus fears against this purple predator. No. <laughs> Wrong pattern. I got. I forgot to turn the pattern off. Oopsie daisy. Just as the Giga was coming out to play, the Torvosaurus is finished off by Megalosaurus 012. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Megalosauruses going after this Giga. Time for the bit you've probably been waiting for the most. When I, when we release six Deinonychus into the ring, but let's have a look at this fight at the same time. And well, oh, whoa. That was quick, wasn't it? How strong are you? Oh, you're intolerant. Well, that was interesting. Was it gilded in one hit? Poor Megalosaurus stood no chance against this wrong pattern Giganonosaurus. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay. This, I think the Deinonychus are going to win here. This Megalosaurus is on low health. It just doesn't have the yeetage power of the large carnivores. And the Deinonychus are ripping it to shreds. <laughs> And are about to finish it off. As Godzilla takes another shark down. There goes there goes a Megalosaurus. Just like in the anime, Deinonychus is pack hunting, proving too too strong. Okay, this could be interesting. There's three Deinonychus against one Megalosaurus. Who will come out on top? Ooh, well, the Deinonychus are not in the best of shapes. Whee! Well, that one definitely isn't. Thrown away. Oh, look at that one yeeted into the wall. Oh, look, the Godzilla just having another shark over there. And yet, yeah, he's given up apparently, but he's badly injured. I'm not surprised, he just went slamming into the rock. Here we go, the final showdown. Can Megalosaurus get some revenge on these Deinonychus? Oh, will the Deinonychus succeed yet again in defeating Megalosaurus? Whee! Oh, he's, he's flung into the camera! Look at that one on the face! Get it flung away! Oh, the other Megalosaurus is coming in to help! Oh, oh, he goes down! How can the Deinonychus do it? The Megalosaurus has taken some damage, but I think it's, the Deinonychus might have given up. Yep, I think they're giving up. Maybe not. Ooh, interesting there. <laughs> the other Megalosaurus just watches. Oh, look, he's scaring him off, showing him who's boss. Okay, I, th I think we're going to end this showcase here. It's been, it's been quite a while. We've had enough fights. We've seen Megalosaurus take on basically everything it wanted it to take on. We've seen how well it can fear. We've seen it suck. And yeah, I'm happy with that, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for future content regarding this game. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.